in two days, we ended up selling, I believe, 24 watches and we made a lot of purchases, over 30 purchases. It's incredible, so really good pickups at the show. We're gonna be showing you everything that we got. You guys can see the theme, we bought a lot of APs today, a lot. Alright guys, what's going on? We're here this morning at IWJG, day number one. We're off to a pretty good start. Uh, actually a little bit slow because we had some delays this morning coming in because actually there's more people at this show than I've ever seen. It is absolutely packed, however there's no merchandise for sale. So it's a little bit of an interesting situation. Um, however, we got everyone here. Amr, Ethan, Yash, Neil, and Rithik are on their way. Um, as far as what we did this morning, we did a lot of buying. Actually picked up a few pieces um, and we actually switched up our display a little bit. We ultimately did not bring any Royal Oaks to this show, um, besides a few like this bus down over here um, and a few pieces throughout. That being said, uh, it was our strategy to not bring our Royal Oaks to the show just because the market has been moving a lot and aggressively up and we do want to hold in order to allow for the market to stabilize. Um, and then we'll be able to see the, uh, the direction for the Royal Oak for the rest of the year. That being said, I think this is the year of the Royal Oak and AP. I think that things are gonna be very strong. So we just wanna make sure that everything settles before we uh, make any big plays. Uh, just to jump into a few buys that we got, we actually picked up a few nice APs if you wanna head over here. We picked up this rose gold blue dial turbion, ultra thin. We picked up a white 15400 ST. And we picked up a rose gold 15400 OR. So not too bad. Definitely uh, hard to buy merch at this time of the year just because everyone is holding on to their merch and asking really crazy prices if they do have stuff. So we are being um, as aggressive as we can, but still paying the right price. As far as predictions for this show, it's going to be a little bit more difficult for me to make predictions at this show because we did not bring our normal inventory. We brought our RMs and some offshores and a few uh, Rolexes as well as Cartier. However, I will say um, I anticipate that we'll sell at least one or two RMs, which I believe will be this RM10. It has been a topic of discussion for a lot of people. The price point is great and the RM10 has actually been trending up, so it's really good news. That being said, also, I do think that this red drive bubble will also be a contender. We had, we had someone stop by and we're actually looking at this really beautiful watch i love the red rehot limited edition honestly really good value compared to the white bubble as well and another piece that i believe will do pretty good at this show is going to be this 3502 red so we actually already took an offer this morning it was 10k off of our ask so we are going to wait to see if the guy will come up just because the offer was a little bit low but 3502 red nadal beautiful piece hard to find and Let's see how, let's see how uh, the rest of the show goes. We'll check in with you when something else happens. Hey guys, I'm here at the Miami Watch Show and uh, my name is Paul Thorpe. I'm a YouTuber from the UK, specialised in watches. I am a 40 year retired watch dealer. Had enough of the stresses and the strains. And uh, these days I just come and meet my fellow, for or my former watch dealer, or I'm a <laughs> former watch dealer here, the current watch dealers. What a selection you've got here. Thank you, thank you um, very much. Unbelievable, wow. So how's business for you out here in the States? It's been good, thank God. I mean, uh, we moved to Miami four years ago and we started with AP and RM. Those were yeah. our two main yeah. brands. Yeah. And now we uh, have accumulated a pretty decent stock and we're just rolling with it. I mean, it's crazy what's happening now in the market. Things have changed so dramatically. I mean, 40 years, I don't even know what you were selling uh, and stuff for back in the day. Can't even imagine. Well, but let, now, me, uh, let me tell you something. I'd like to have you back and give them twice their money back. <laughs> yeah, for real. 
<laughs> Maybe even three, four times. Three or four back. times, absolutely. So how's the RM market at the moment? Uh, for us, it's honestly very good. We, uh, so a lot of our clientele actually reaches out to us for RM, even wholesalers. Mm -hmm. So right now we're kind of split 50-50 wholesale and retail for RM, mm -hmm. just because we are known for it. That being said, um, as far as performance over the past year, they didn't perform in my opinion as well as they should have. Yeah. And I think that they are due for a significant increase just because everything else dramatically increased. Yeah. In RM, you know, slight increases, but nothing to, to what it should be. Okay, so, so I'm gonna offer you a little challenge. I'm here from England. I'm going to New York tomorrow. Yes. Which RM do you think would suit me? Put it on my wrist, we'll show it to the camera and see what the viewers think. What do you think yeah, let's would suit see. me? So, hmm, that's a tough if one. If I was your customer, which RM are you gonna sell me today? I think I would set you up with, I think I would set you up with this, the 55 Drive. And I'll tell you why. I think it goes with your style. Uh -huh. It's a little bit edgy. It's a skeleton. The strap's a little bit bright and loud. It goes, oh, sorry. It goes oh good with man. your sleeves. Yeah. Let's check it out, see what you think. Also for your size and stature, I think that the size of the watch is pretty good. Here we go. What do you think about it? What do you reckon, guys? You may have a sale. <laughs> It is beautiful, yeah. So 55 bubble, limited to 30 pieces in the world. Red drive. It's actually uh, titanium ceramic coating on top. And the red rehot inside with the red strap. It's beautiful. Can't go wrong with it. What's happening, Papa Watson? Hi, I'm How are you? How are you? Very nice to meet you. Matt Watts, Guy London, BQ Watches, Big Watch Theater in the UK. He also has his own YouTube channel. Oh, amazing. What do you think, Spence? Look. Do you want to buy me as a bonus for the no. trip? Do you, <laughs> you know something? I can't just buy you one. Right? You, you guys can split it, no? I've got to buy me two. I mean, talk about putting me on the spot. Yeah. <laughs> Where? Uh, it's a beautiful piece. Which one would you have picked if you had, get, if you had to pick Probably, on, I would on. say. Can I just make some, Can I just okay, guess at what you would... Go on. Just on. knowing Please. his style. Sorry, let me say He would probably go yeah, for the top one. left. No, yeah, yellow. you're absolutely right. This one? Yeah. Wow, do you know what's funny is I was going to pick this, actually, but then I changed my mind. Thank you so much. So what check this out. This is actually a Jacob Bugatti. Jacob Bugatti, wow. limited 100 pieces, Turbion with an animation. This is number 00, zero out of 100. And if you actually press this button right here, oh, you'll see the animation start. Just get a wound up. <laughs> this is the this is the show stopping part of the world. Yeah. That is, I mean, just oh, something totally different. You will never see it. I've never seen one on someone's wrist in person ever. I mean, it's a very uh, very interesting watch. I so, you, you, you know, man, this, this guy is the biggest. Well, I'm not. I'm not that big. He's not that big. He's the biggest guy in the UK. Work with this guy and be beneficial for you both. I, I, I guarantee. Think, I look forward to it. Yeah. All the viewers. Yeah. Do you come over to the UK at all? Sure. I have been one time. I have been one time, but I have not been back. recently. Going to come um, back. I had I had a good time, to be honest with you. I, the culture was a little bit different for me. I sat down for breakfast and I got a beer. It was like 10 a.m. <laughs> so I was a little bit, uh, right. I was like, damn, how do people Welcome work here? Um, but yeah, I definitely want to visit soon after all the COVID craziness sort of dies down a little bit. And if I do stop by, I'd love to see you guys. It'd be great. Okay, well, thank you. Over there. Thanks so thank much. You so much. I really appreciate and it. Yeah, what's happening? Let's see what we can do. Absolutely, let's do it 100%. 100%. All right, so we just picked right up right. this 15451 ST Black. So you interest in this? Ladies, yeah. we're yeah. actually running a little bit low, so it's good that uh, I found this for a fair price. And then we got this 37, sorry, 33 millimeter automatic factory diamond rose gold on rubber beautiful ladies piece as well really crazy price point for these honestly i think severely undervalued might be putting this on a bracelet um let's see but really cool piece all the way around the past two weeks what about the volcano volcano i can give you one naked for 20k and safari safari um you want a complete one complete yeah safari uh, no box watch and papers we can do 22.5 uh, the new ones would be the 43 millimeter offshores here, and then on this tray, nothing is new except that middle one, the smoke gray. How much is that? You can do 57.5. That's the hottest down. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you want know I can give you a good deal on the black one there since we have uh, multiples. I need new, so anything new. No, I these, can are new. Offer. these are new, these are new 20. Yes, I can offer that. Have you seen the, how the straps come out with this? Yeah, it's crazy. Very cool. You have a ruby? I watched 
Thirty-five. Yeah. What'd you say? Complete. Complete. Full set. Box. Card. Everything. Yeah. Clean. No, no, no. Issues. All right. Let me take some pictures. So this is the orange camo from Horace Watch Scraps. On the volcano. It's really good. You try it on. Take off the OP. Straps are so comfortable. Nice. Many horse straps advertisement. <laughs> I love it. Which means it's, it's a good and a bad time, right? So the good sign is that you seem very serious. See, this one and, looks uh, so much better on the brown strap than the camo. Is that also a horse? That's, a cam that's the camo. No, it came with the brown and the camo strap from AP. Yeah. But I didn't like the camo. Oh, yeah. yeah. The brown is so much classier. So, any Richards sold? Any Richards? No, not yet. Just, yeah, and we don't want to sell them because we can't replace them. We can't replace them. He's like we're selling it and then we're buying it back for like four thousand dollars. So that doesn't even make sense. You have a blue with what? Archive papers? How much? How much are you asking? One two. Twenty. You can do it. When are you gonna give me the rest? We can take trades and I'll pay you. I already owe you for the brown. I'll pay you the same time. Yeah, what's going on? Yeah. How much for a brief? Yeah, uh, This one, uh, it's watch only. Where? 50. Fuck. No, no, no. You want 49.5. It's very cheap. And this one? Can you help? The papers? Uh, yes. Full set, we're asking 47. Right. What about that one? This one? Yeah. yeah. Not for sale, we just bought it from them. How much? 20. Oh, watch where is Sean? Sylvester. Make a 19. Yeah, it's our cost. Let's yeah. make some money. A 19. Right. Yeah. Oh, you want wire? I have to ask him because it's cool. the, the lowest we can sell for is 20, bro. So I have to ask Sean. Make a 19. Where is Sean at? <laughs> <laughs> he, went to, he went to Simon Diamond. I will do 20 and I'll give you I'll give you this cool strap also for this strap how much is that fucking strap for? let me see let me see that it's a horse strap how much is that watch? this one our cost is higher the guy lost the papers we're asking 23 for this how about this one? that one we can do 22.5 one time can I make deal with you? it was 20 to 19.5 myself Whatever he wants is whatever we And he's gonna win 40. He knows more than me, bro. Make a 19. Don't take it to 19. Just take a picture. You wanna give 9900? We can take 99. Yeah, but in New York. Well, you need it here. We can do it here. You owe somebody in New York? No. No? Okay, I give it whatever. Give me By end of the day or tomorrow, I'm here, bro. What's your company, bro? MVI. Do me a favor. Give me one hero. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Don't be I'll get it from the office. It's in the office. Oh. You're gonna send me uh, give me English? I'll make it in English. <laughs> For you guys, I'm asking 70,000. It's brand new 2021 box and papers. That's full set. But for you, 68. Let me ask you because that's what we have it sold for. Right you like my shirt? I love it. I want to make We didn't get a replacement, bro. You want a 68. What? Remember we had to get another one? You said you got a replacement, it's not coming. 68? I bro, you know what I sold it for. Man. How will we be 68? Brand new. Why do you always do this to me, bro? You said you got a backup, bro. But they're going higher. Like I saw somebody selling it. But the rose is not moving though. How's this show good? I'll call them. I'll call them. Right? The last show wasn't that bad. 
But where's the box? I have I have it in downtown. Uh look Jay, I sold it on C for 67.5. Can't you do 66.5? It's really stupid. Like, this guy fucked me. He said he bought it for 64, I don't know where the fuck it is. If you can do it, just do it for me. If not, whatever, I'll pay you 67. Do whatever you want. Oh my god, look what he I leave said. it to you. Okay, 67. <laughs> He's doing that too because he knows that I'm gonna be like, okay. No, I don't yeah. care. We do a lot of deals. Deal, uh, 67. 67. Don't worry, it's fine. We'll okay. just pay your 67. Thank you. Uh, so yo, Jose. Yo, thank you, Andrea. Of course. Um, I have the box, papers, everything, well not papers, I have the box and everything. Okay, but uh, um, when are you going to be there? At the farm, so I can give it to you okay. tomorrow. No problem, we'll take it tomorrow. Okay, worst case, the wire will go tomorrow, bro, because my brother is in the show. Yeah. This is from... Uh, I don't know if he has time to do a wire. So you tell him we're good. When are you going, when are you going to be at the office? Because I could maybe... Like all well, the day date, they've just been going up. I remember I sold one two months ago for 52 and now we're selling them at 70. They're just gonna keep going up. Fresh pickup, blue 263310R. We're gonna be taking off the tape and it's plastic and everything because it is a used watch. So, gotta watch out for that stuff. But really cool, really cool piece. Just picked it up. So, we just had a customer come by and he was interested in the two tone uh, blue Submariner and he purchased it. It's my first sale at the IWJG show. First show, I'm very excited. Rocking the Frosted. What about like uh, a 29? How much of a difference? 29 is, is good, but the thing is that the 29 is the same size as the 10. Yeah, it's too so small. It's this size. Yeah, I tried a 10. It's too small. It would probably be have, have to be like And a, to be a honest 10. with you, between me and you, it's better to buy a 10. Because the only difference between a 10 and a 29 is the, the date wheel. The big date. 29 just has a big date. It's the same case, same everything. But it's movement's a, different. It's a lot smaller though, right? Yeah, a lot smaller. I, I the size is still good. Don't get me wrong. The size still it's still fits good. A, it's too small for my wrist. For you, it might be a little too small. So, um, starting prices on these? Uh, one forty-five. Oh, that's very doable. Reasonable. Yeah. And you said like two, one ninety, two hundred on the thirties. Um, the titanium is going to be like two fifteen. Two fifteen. Two twenty, and the eleven is going to be like two thirty-ish okay. around there. Okay. What options do you have in the in the thirty plane? Right now, we have none. So 30 is actually like our, our hottest seller right now. Okay. So we completely sold out of 30s. We have none left. Just um just the bust out one, which actually we took an offer on. Actually, that, that sold that that 30 bust out. It was a good price. How much um, was it? 240. So yeah, it's not bad. Bust out too. Factory aftermarket. Uh, yeah. But still, the watch plane you're gonna buy for 250. Put 15,000 into busting it down and then take a hit. Uh, and then um, if I wanted to do uh, entry level rose gold. That would be something like this in rose gold mm -hmm. without the diamonds, mm -hmm. or something like this in rose gold without the diamonds, or you could do like. Um, What's that? Yeah. This is a polo. This is a white gold RM11. So there's only 20 of these in the world. But you're paying a little premium from white gold to the platinum or to the titanium. Huh? So they actually trade pretty close in price. This one's a little bit more expensive because it is limited of 20, um, and there's literally only two for sale in the world, and this is one of them. How much so, is this? Uh, so one other guy has one. He's asking 330. We're asking 280. Yeah. It's a cool watch. It's beautiful. It's unique. It's smaller than the uh, the 11. No, there's, this is actually the uh, same size. So same both size. of these 11s are going to be the same size. Uh, yeah. All right. Last thing is on the 30, strap options. How's that look? Um, literally anything. Yeah. Blue, yellow, red, um, green, orange. What pricing on them compared to like the other ones? Uh, do they go for crazy prices? Um, so this strap, like yeah. the baby blue, for instance, has a premium. This is like twenty-five hundred dollars strap. Uh -huh. These are the new style straps. They're like three thousand with the vented um, thirty yeah, straps. I like, I like the old ones. And the original eleven strap, which is right here, yeah. like this style. This is obviously on a bubble, yeah. but this style eleven strap, which is here, these are like between thirteen hundred to eighteen hundred, depending. Uh -huh. Can, so, I, can I put one of these like nylon ones? Yeah, for sure. Uh, this might be a little bit small though, but we can try. No, no, not put it on, but like, can I put oh, it on a 30? Oh, uh, yeah, you can put this on a 30. So the 30 strap fits the 35, which this model is a 35. Okay. 30 fits 30, 35, 55. 55. Sorry, 55. Okay. And what the, the straps go for how much? Because these are pricey, right? Uh, those are like 1,000 to 1,500, depending. Okay. Uh, and they're a little bit lighter than the rubber? So, uh, yeah, a little bit lighter and... Uh, because I'd want it to be like a, a gym watch. Okay. This could get wet not without any problem, right? Mm -hmm. So RMs are water resistant. They're not waterproof. The strap? The strap, I mean, 
Because that'll um, be sweaty. It'll be like yeah. sweaty. So, so you definitely can get it wet. Um, it is Kevlar. So you aren't going to have any problems with that. But over time, it will get nasty if it continues to get wet. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and there's no like, uh, other these, option yeah. for like a gym watch for RM. That would be um, better wait, for I'll be right back. I mean, this is a really great watch. Um, this is the Ultra 367. It's super lightweight. It's full NTPT. The price point is pretty good. The shape is a little bit different than what you normally see. What's the price on this, you said? Um, that's two ninety five. It's on a small strap, so that's why I might be yeah, a little small. Yeah, yeah. I don't even want to try it. Okay, and because if I were to get the thirty, I would want multiple colors just to be able to. Of course. Do it up more, you know. So, cool, man. Let me, uh, you know, come by one of these days to the store and check still, us out. Yeah, check out what we have. And you and let me know with the fifteen five hundred when you guys decide to start selling them up again because I need one. Understood. One hundred percent. Come by if you're here around this week. It'd be great. Okay. Why would you buy this, man? Because it has my country name in the back, bro. <laughs> good reason. It's a good reason. We have the Ireland edition back at the. Uh, hey, I thought so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I so. um, Are we doing the deal or not? Okay, so you know, you know, zero five today. Check hundred ten three weeks. Isn't that the same thing you told me like a long time ago? I know, but why would I go down? You I'll give you a hundred and a hundred and thirty days. I think no, it's no, a, no, this no. is the final Where's offer. Go, go. This is the final offer, and then after no, that. No, you already said your final offer. No, this final is the offer. this is the final. I'm okay. telling you. 1025 check today, 100 check, 100k in three weeks. Okay, so give me the bangle and you give me the check for 100. No. Okay. <laughs> um, hi, Papi. Why you do this to me, man? It's a fair price. You bro. asked me, and now I'm gone. Now you, I'm going to make sure you have a price. To be my team. <laughs> all right, all right. We are a team. We can no, sell 4,500. Yeah, and you're getting terms too. In three weeks. You'll probably sell it tomorrow and then you're going to have 200k to, for two, three weeks. Bye, bye. Can you give me extra strap? <laughs> bro, that's a, that's a Yo, where's the bro, bro? Do you want an envelope with? as well? <laughs> Why not? Okay, <laughs> mate, mate. So what are we doing, Sean? Two hundred two five. One hundred two five. Check today. Hundred K in three weeks from today. Confuse me, bro. Mass out, baby. Take the watch. Yeah, that's how you show watch. Congratulations. I'll be back. Well done. Well done. Well done. Look at all these buys. Blue Chrono. Blue Turbion. Frosted white gold blue dial. Ooh, nice little row of blue over here. Another buy 15451 ST black. Another fan favorite chocolate chrono. Let's see what else we got over here. We ran out of space. 15400 ST white. Fifteen four hundred OR white. Two six three twenty OR black. You guys can see the theme. We bought a lot of APs today. A lot. It's crazy. Seven seven three fifty ST white. Thirty four millimeter automatic ladies. Like I was saying before, we were running actually super super low on the ladies. Picked up a lot. Let's see what else. 67650 ST black, 33 millimeter quartz. We're still running out of space. Um, what else? Oh, another 67650 ST black. And two more. We got this. 26320OR white on a leather band. Nice diversity in case someone doesn't want the full rose gold. And a pounder brick salmon dial. Definitely need some love and some TLC because this guy's been thoroughly worn all the way. I don't know what the guy who was wearing this was doing, but he was doing something with it. Um, so we're going to take this guy in for service when we get back. Just gotta find a spot for it in the tray, but really good day overall. Um, to be honest with you, we did a lot more buying than we did selling. We did sell an RM. We sold the RM30 Venezuela, and we sold a few AP offshores, um, a couple to Luxury Bazaar, and a couple to um, our friends um, that are local in Miami, to be honest with you, with you, which is also surprising because oftentimes you'll see people every day and you won't do business with them, and then you'll be at the show and suddenly you can make business happen. 
Um, I think it has mostly to do with the environment and the fact that so many people are here and hungry and they see everyone else doing business and then they feel inclined to do more. So really good day for us. Um, ended up, like I said, selling about eight or nine pieces and then we bought almost 20 pieces. So a little bit upside down, but we'll make it happen. All right, what's going on guys? We're here this morning, day two of IWJG. Off to a little bit of a slow start. We haven't actually sold anything as of yet. It is 11 in the morning. However, everyone's starting to roll in now and the show is getting more populated. So now is typically on day two when things will get amped up a little bit and we'll start selling. As far as mor uh, morning buys, we actually picked up two AP Chronos. So we're just picking up all the scraps here, whatever anyone has for sale. That's AP, Royal Oak, Royal Oak Chrono, non-Chrono. We're definitely picking them up even ladies pieces. So we'll check in with you guys when something happens, uh, but a little bit of a slow start. So let's see what happens in the afternoon. What's the price? I'm missing the price on the black one. Uh, the black is not for sale. This is 390,000. 2018 complete with 2021 service papers. 3502 red. Um, price range on the black one? Um, almost 300. It's a chronometric edition. There's only nine pieces. What about the, uh, the Jacob and Co? Bugatti? Yeah. So this is 300,000. It's a turbion with an animation. It's number zero, zero out of 100. And we're asking 270 for it. Zero. Zero, zero. So it's actually the first one ever, the prototype. Would you say 300? So the list is 300, we're asking 270. That's, that's like, like any Jacob and Cole watch is my dream watch. This is really? the first one I've ever seen in person. Yeah, check it out. What about me, bro? I'm a nobody. 17 year olds dream about Jacob watches. Maybe that's a trend. Maybe, maybe it's a trend. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> these are, these are, uh, where's the one uh, on that side? The Sapphire one? The uh, Chinese one? Oh, no. Venti. Venti, yeah. Those are like, I see the prices that kind of like. They're going up. It's a very interesting brand. They're doing very well with their marketing. Yeah. I think it's a good value watch for the money. Pretty hard to get. They're doing really limited runs and everything's by application. So I'd like to see how they do now that they've went more Swiss in house movement. They're doing stuff that's very reminiscent of Richard Beale. And I think they're gonna do well. The price range going with the Swiss movement? Is it a lot higher? Well, they're gonna have to raise the MSRP because the Swiss movement is much more expensive than the, the Japanese movement or Chinese movement that they were using before. So I think that the MSRP will go up, which intrinsically, if they're gonna continue to go over a list, the price will have to go over a list and go up as well. But we'll have to see what happens. It's gonna take a lot of marketing and then a lot of traction to stay uh, relevant in a market like this where everything's going crazy. Just things like, you forget you're wearing it. It's incredible, right? Very so definitely what RM is known for, this NTPT. And the case is shaped like it just sits flat, you know? So the torno shape and then also the arch, like the arch, sorry, arched. So it uh, fits really nice on your wrist. Hello. You said these, these are 400? Uh, 390. Mm -hmm. And this where, box, where they, uh, this one. 12 months price-wise movement up down the white in the, in the trailing box. 12 months yeah so in the trailing 12 months they started around 225 okay. now 390. Uh, i will tell you that it went from 220 to 300 and i think a span of one week <laughs> and ever since then the market stuck and it went up so that's how rm typically goes up is in jumps it doesn't really go up like other brands that would go up 1k a month or 2k or 5k a month an arm goes up it goes up in waves and big jumps at a time so this is exactly what happened with the 35 months and then right now thing. like january for and rolex and AP, the things are going crazy is rm going crazy or is it just kind of steady so they've been a little bit flat for the past couple months uh i will say that with the direction that they're taking in 2022 i expect them to start making those big jumps like i was mentioning before but we just have to see exactly what their plans are for production because right now they're not producing literally anything the production is like zero. No one's getting anything. Like you have not seen a single 7201 or 3503 on the market. Not even because of COVID, just because they just don't want to produce. They, their, su their supply is very low and their demand is extremely high. And that's a very you know great proof of business model. And he's buying his old watches back. So and he's discontinuing everything that's hot. So 11, 35, 55. 30, everything that's hot. So he's transitioning now. Wow. Do you want to see what they were doing in August with that watch? Look at this. August, they're giving buy one, get one free. You get a white stainless steel Daytona and the yellow gold for 58,000 in August. Now you buy just the watch, 52,000. The stainless is 30. Gorgeous. <laughs> um, 
I think we're just gonna pass because that one's not our market. Price seems reasonable. Not our, not our market, you know? <laughs> That's what we paid for the white gold? No, 49, 48 something, 48. Uh, I, I think we'll pass. The price is probably okay, but we just struggled to sell them. Okay, my love. Roseville? 23.5. 23.5 still or true? Cheap. 21.5, can I give you? How much? 21.5. 21.5? No. You think for 22.5 and that's good. It's 21.5, I give you. No, no, it's a cheap watch, cheap watch. No, no, don't take my idea. I think, we, I think we owe him money, 22, so. 22.5. Do we? Love it. Really? 21.5 is a rose gold, but that's what I buy. Excuse me. No, no. He took well, five, like. he okay, final, final. 22. Final. 21.5. 22, final. The brace is 14.5. You sell it for 60. Naked? Naked? Yeah. You should take it back. It's going backwards. No, seriously. I want to buy him back. Okay, 21.5. 21.5. Can I get another box? 21.5. How much do I want to put in the box? How much is the price? 378. 14,500. Do you have one? No. Okay, right now. Okay, so get it. Take. Look at the box. I need that for a second, though. All right, guys, what's going on? So we're wrapping up day two of IWJG. We just finished up the show. It's about four o'clock and everyone's heard to head out around like one, two-ish. So we just wanted to save the duration of the show and see if there's any more business that we could do. Unfortunately, the end of the show was not as active as the first day or normal IWJG. A lot of guys ended up heading out and there wasn't too many deals to be had. Uh, there is very limited stock right now out in the market. So we tried everything that we could to make sure that we have inventory for you guys. That being said, um, we did pick up a lot of good pieces on day one. Day two, not so many pickups. We sold actually an RM6701 white gold diamond set, which will pop up a picture on the screen. Looks sick on the baby blue strap. We actually ended up selling a few AP offshores and a few Rolexes as well. In total, uh, in two days, we ended up selling, I believe, 23 watches or 24 watches. And we made a lot of purchases, over 30 purchases. It's incredible so really good pickups at the show we're going to be showing you everything that we got when we get back to the office really excited to show it to you guys and be able to provide it for you guys because the market right now on fire and there's nothing to buy so we're going to have everything for you and we'll get you guys all set up thank you so much and let us know what you think about this show honestly was not the most active show that we've been to for iwjg we tried to make the most of it thank you guys so we're here today it is thursday it is noon everyone is in the office Yash, Rithik, Amr, and Neil are actually heading down to Tulum with one of our clients for his birthday. So they're gonna be there for the next couple of days. So it's gonna be pretty hectic in the office with not too many people here. We do have uh, half our team, but like I said, everyone else is in Tulum. So we're gonna be quite busy. This morning, not so many shipments came in. Things are going a little bit slow now, um, just because Chinese New Year is approaching. So a lot of things are gonna be slowed down as far as our international shipments because Hong Kong is gonna be shut down for 10 days for the Chinese slash Lunar New Year. We'll see how that goes. We'll check in with you when anything big happens. We are awaiting a few big pieces in the mail uh, domestically, but we'll let you know what, what happens um, later in the afternoon. This would look sick on your watch. The white? On the rose gold, yeah. No, 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 no. White, white will look pops. No, I have this white. Yeah. Oh, this strap won't no, I'm saying the other one? No, it will not. Oh really? Yeah. That that watch, um, this strap. You see how it says ten on it? It'll say ten M. Yeah. Okay, so ten fits on twenty nine and ten. All right. Okay. Ah. Thirty fits on this is thirty. Yeah. Fits on thirty, fifty five, and thirty five. Gotcha. Because yeah. they're different size case, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's a yeah. The, which one is yours? This is yours. Yeah. Let's do this for you. Um, we need to ask Sean about those straps hey. on your front. Congratulations again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bro, you gotta see the watch on the wrist. Actually, looks really good. Really, exciting, really good. exciting. I think that's the best. Like to me, like my favorite watch I've seen on your wrist. This one. Yeah, it looks yeah. killer, bro. On you. Well, uh, we were. I was asking. You have the red strap for me too. No, I ordered the red strap, but we didn't get it yet. Really? No, we did not get it yet. Red strap, me in the yellow crown. No. I have the yellow crown. Yeah. Then I have. Okay. I should believe that's right here. And I, I have your original. No, I had your. Wait, what was this? No, I have your original red crown too. No, I have the red crown. No, the original red crown's on it. Black crown. Oh, oh, oh yeah, black, right? No, the black crown. No. So why are you even giving it to him? Just uh, to change the crown, you have to come here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the watch you just sold us, bro. Very unfortunate. Right. What? You sold it already, or no? Yeah. You did? Yeah, and I sold it cheap. What did you sell it for? You're gonna be mad, bro. No, I'm gonna. One, one ten. 
110? You sold it for 110 only? You know how much that? I thought you were gonna get more. Okay, they're, they're going for like 125 now. Really? It's hard. It. I, I don't know why Sean sold it, but the, these guys came from Canada. Just they told us yeah. two weeks ago. Okay, they're like we're coming just to buy some Royal Oaks. Uh -huh. They should have called and committed on the phone because they would have saved a lot of money. Uh -huh. But in the last three weeks, bro, AP, it's about to be the 50th anniversary of AP. So uh -huh. it's happening. You know, there's going to be big news for the company. The brand is on fire right now. That's also good news for RM. Though. Yeah, RM's also going to... RM and Paddock and AP are getting too close in price. And Richard Mill was always a different echelon. So it's got to, it's got to shoot soon. Uh -huh. I, I, that's what all of us think. Actually, I was t talking to dealers about it and they all agreed. They were like, yeah, Richard Mule is a different league. You know, it can't be so close in price to a Paddock. And or, Paddock or an AP. is going to go up also. Yeah, I sure, know. Your first, Your first sale, sale was actually a long game in the mobile. Like something cheap. <laughs> I think I took three hours, bro, with this customer to sell a $1,200 watch, bro. It was ridiculous. <laughs> like the, the, the amount that the game has changed for us, bro. Like even, even the work you used to do, bro. Like, look, like it's crazy. I remember my first sale. What was it? 15 4 5 1 0 R black. That's good. That's yeah, good. First, first thing I ever saw. What? Sorry, uh, 15 4 0 R black. That's great. 15 4 0 R black. Ethan had a good first sale too, right? What was his first sale? Uh, to Jerry and Chris. And he just sold what? Ethan? Two no, he just sold the fucking John Todd, right? No, no the ghost. The white ghost, yeah. White ghost, yeah. We're waiting on the wire though, so not sold okay. until it comes. Hey, he just joined the company, what, three months ago? <laughs> he just sold a $700,000 yeah. Where do you go? It's Where do you get these guys, just random guys again? <laughs> we're, we're blessed. I'm, I'm gonna take credit for that one. Yeah, Sean, Sean found Ethan now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ethan, where's the wire though, bro? Bro, I can't put this thing on. <laughs> Why? What's happening? Oh. <laughs> You're bugging out. He's too excited. Yeah. What? The wrist is like... It's, I, it's no, I, I can't. Uh, oh, this. That. Yeah, yeah. There we go. It's beautiful, bro. Yeah, the white. They love it. Killer. You want to buy it? Sexy, bro. You want to buy this? Yeah, I'll buy it. How much? <laughs> looks crazy. Let me see. It's so light. Yeah, white is the way to go. 100%. You can tie the way to go. I don't know why I like the blue a lot, too. No, blue, I like. I like. Amazing. Amazing, amazing, bro. Thank Congratulations. You. Did you wear your 30 here at least? No, no, I didn't. I wanted to know. You wore another game bear wrist. He came bear wrist. You didn't want to drive in the car with a million dollars, bro. It's smart. <laughs> Amazing. Love it. Last night I went in the jacuzzi, bro, with the new AP I bought myself on Friday. Which one? A rose gold chrono with the open case back. And I paid myself to own that watch 155000 And I justified keeping it, bro. Like, that's how much the market is about. Uh, I went in the jacuzzi last night and uh, it was very hot, my jacuzzi. And then I jumped in the cold pool, like ice cold. And I don't know what happened. I think like the temperature change oh. caused humidity in the watch and water got it. What if caused expansion? That actual oh. metal to expand? I don't know. So it's getting fixed. So guys, check this out. Like I was just showing Jared, December 31st, 2021, literally New Year's Eve, less than a month ago. We posted like, these are Chrono 24 prices, which are higher than the prices we sell to our customers and dealers at, obviously. A black stainless steel Chrono was 60K. Like that, that was a high price in market. A Panda was 67 and a blue was 78. And today is January 24th. Blue is 120. Three and a half weeks later, the black one from 60 to what? Blue is 120 new, Panda's 90. Wait, wait, so wait, wait, the black one from 60 to what? 60 right now if you have to buy a new one 85 60 to 85,000 and under a month the Over panda 30, went from 67,500 to how much 90,000 90 95,000 right yeah so up another 30 percent and uh the blue went from 78 to what 120 new 120 yeah <laughs> what so wow so almost doubled up in under That's a month crazy <laughs> and what did we what did we preach to the youtube channel i'm and, sick because i think i've sold maybe 700 of these <laughs> for for under for 40k all, but for, for anyone who missed out our like customers. it's no one's fault but your own because because we tell you all every week <laughs> i missed out <laughs> big time <laughs> What do you mean you picked up the chrono? Sean, Sean offered me the blue face chrono at 25k right, like that, right? three years ago. Yeah, I've been telling, yeah, yeah. telling you to buy it. I told everyone to buy it. Everyone laughed at me. They said, what the heck is this AP? No one listened to me. Then people started listening as they were going up. Now you missed the boat. Now the boat officially has sailed for now. Got to wait for the market to settle down and for there to be a little bit more stock. 
because people do not want to sell anything right now. No way this customer's back. No way this customer, this is hilarious. I quoted a customer 318, 2021, March, 2021. 26331 ST Blue 2020 complete 47K. 26331 ST Blue 2017 465. He replies to me now, hey, are these still available? How are you? Please give me a call immediately when you get a chance. <laughs>